Kailan po ang tamang pag-inom ng Genesis Organic Spirulina? After sex, parang sumasakit yung ari ko. Madalas po akong naihihi sa gabi. Pwede din po ba sa kanya ang spirulina kahit umiinom siya ng medicine? Hello and welcome to this channel. Ako po ang inyong friendly urologist na si Dr. Joseph Lee. Ilan sa inyong katanungan na ipinadala nyo sa akin ay sasagutin ko ngayon. Dahil dito sa aking channel, tanong nyo, sagot ko. Mula kay Azel Vlog. Hello po, Doctor. Kailan po ang tamang pag-inom ng Genesis Organic Spirulina? Pagkatapos po ba kumain o wala pang naman ang tiyan? Sana po mapansin nyo po. Ako, siyempre, papansinin kita na ngayon. Salamat po at God bless. Yes, you can drink it either pre-breakfast, pre-lunch, or pre-supper. Or pwede naman after. Pero usually, sinasabi natin yung mga organic substance or mga vitamin, mga supplement. It's better that you drink it before you have your food intake. Mula kay Rodel A. Dok, ano po ba ang nangyayari sa akin? After sex, parang sumasakit yung ari ko. Then, ilan araw nagkakaroon ng nana na lumalabas after? Ano po ba ang cause? Anong pwedeng gamot? Okay, this one we have to do history really deep, deep with your history. Especially if you have sexual contact with your partner or Alam mo na ba, ibang partner, no? Kasi para malaman natin, if you have STI or sexually transmitted infection, this can be ruled out by doing urinalysis, urine culture, and some blood examination para ma-check natin. Just in case na negative naman siya, then we just have to follow up and observe your symptomatology. But Pero sinabi mo kasi, Nana, so we have to really, really check into the possibility na talagang meron kang infection. Mula kay Edwin Castro, Hello po, Doc. Hihingi lang po ako ng advice kung ano po dapat kong gawin Kasi madalas po akong naihihi sa gabi. So probably this is nocturia. When we talk about nocturia, it should not be waking up and urinating more than five times per episode. So that would be a problem of obstruction. No? Kaya madalas napupuyat ako sa kakaihi. No? So one, we check your prostate, do a PSA. examination, evaluate the volume of your prostate. Tingnan natin kung malaki, baka meron kang retention level. No? Kung may retention ka, may volume retention, then we have to give you medications for that. Okay? Mula kay Alcor sa Lungguit Palataw. No? Kakaiba ang pangalan mo. No? Doc, ang husband ko ay may prostate. Pwede din po ba sa kanya ang spirulina kahit umiinom siya ng medicine for or maintenance for prostate. Yes, pwedeng-pwede yan, no? Your organic spirulina genesis can be taken even with maintenance or supplement. There is no antagonistic effect with these drugs. Mula kay Godwin Tolosa. Good day, Odok. Ano po kaya yung sa akin na discharge na kulay dilaw? Hmm, bakit may ganyan ka? Pero di naman mabaho. Talagang inamoy mo pa. Okay, so again, we have to check you, Godwin, kung merong kang infection. That's number one. That's very important, no? Infection in the line of STI, sexually transmitted infection. Kasi meron nana eh, when you're talking about nana. But if it's the color is it but a bit dark yellow or tinged, we just have to see baka meron kang chronic infection because chronic infection at the longest state, even the duration of two weeks, can cause yellowish discharge. or yellow discoloration, discoloration of your urine. So, urinalysis, urine culture, and discharge can be done to evaluate and give you a very good management later on. At yan ang sagot sa inyong mga katanungan. Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell. Post your question in the comment box below. Dahil dito sa aking channel, tanong nyo, sagot ko. Muli ako po ang inyong friendly urologist na si Dr. Joseph Lee saying hello but never goodbye. Thank you for watching.